Hi everyone. More than any other topic during this OER Librarianship Certification Program, we've talked about outreach and communication throughout the whole thing. So now is your chance to bring it all together to develop an effective, targeted, and strategic plan for communicating and reaching out about your program. So in your action plan, you're going to need to include a section about your outreach and communication intentions. So to help with that, we put together a short guide that pulls together all the work that you've already done throughout the certification related to outreach and communication, which you'll probably find is a lot of stuff. Um, hopefully this will make it easier for you to complete this part of your action plan. You can find the guide at the link here in the video, and it should also be listed below the video as well. So this is all explored in the Outreach and Communication Guide, but here's some areas where you already have explored this topic, both in the Canvas course and in our asynchronous monthly videos. So in week one, we did an activity called Audiences, and you answered the questions, what audiences at your institution will need training on open education, and what will each audience need to know? So that could be really useful information uh, when you're thinking about how you're going to frame your outreach messaging for your program. Then in week two, we asked you to find your institution's strategic plan, mission, vision, strategic objectives, etc., and see if you can show alignment between strategic phrases in those documents and your open initiative so that you can make a stronger case for institutional support for your initiative. So that could be a really great tool when it comes to outreach to administrators. Then in week three, or sorry, module three, uh, you had an activity where you looked at the resources and services that you needed to help faculty and students. What did you have already and what did you still need in order to really reach them. So things like workshops, research guides, tutorials. So this could be really helpful when you're thinking of your action plan and what you need to do next as far as outreach to your community. Then in module four, you did an activity where you took the three pitches that you developed back in module two for different audiences and you revise them based on what you had learned over the intervening time. So those pitches could be a really great starting point for your outreach messaging. Then in May, we had our videos and two activities that could be relevant to outreach and communication. You did an OER crush activity where you looked at an institution, organization, a person that you really admired in open education. So if they've done something that is really innovative or cool that you think you might want to do as far as outreach and communication, now's the time to begin researching it, get some information about it so that you can put it in your action plan. You also did a faculty champions activity. And so if you have a list of faculty champions, if you have some folks in mind, this is exactly where you would put them into your plan as far as outreach to other faculty. And then last month in June, we had some OER metrics videos. So those would be great ones to revisit to look at whether there's specific data, quotes, surveys, things that you could really use when it comes to reaching out to different audiences. And then finally, this month, Cheryl put together some wonderful videos for you about specific uh, persuasion techniques and strategies for reaching out that have worked at other institutions and that um, take advantage of visuals, um, storytelling, things like that. And of course, that's going to be very helpful for you as well. So while this guide is meant to help you with your action plan, uh, it is not the template for the outreach and communication section of your plan. So it's really meant to be a place where you can paste in all kinds of stuff that you've done before. But once you do that, you will have actually quite a long document. So you don't want that to be just put right directly into your action plan. Instead, the main goal is to help you connect what you've done so far in the certification. So all the time and energy you've put into these different activities, can you take all of that and use it to your advantage. So you can use it in internal planning. It's now one place that you have all of that information that's related to the same thing. 
But as far as your action plan, you can use it in a couple of ways. You can kind of compile all that information and then summarize what you want to do in your action plan based on what you have compiled there. So just build a short summary based on everything. Or you can pick and choose a few different things that you really want to include in your action plan. For example, maybe you're just going to include your OER pitches that you revised, um, information about your faculty champions, and the list of resources that you intend to develop, for example. That could be just the few things that you want to include in your action plan. Make sure that you copy the document and make changes on your own copy so that everyone can use it. And also feel free to compile additional content. So this is a, a place where you can compile all the stuff you've already made, but it could also be things outside of the certification that you have found or made, things like PowerPoint slides, flyers, quotes from your faculty, things like that. You can pull those into the same place as well for your personal records or to add as appendices to your action plan. So I hope that made sense and that it wasn't too confusing. Of course, if you have any questions about the outreach and communication content that Cheryl talked about or questions about how to create this section of your action plan, please don't hesitate to reach out to your cohort mentor. Thanks for watching.